We some MVPs, we the state champs, getting scouted, I believe in me. Never really can, no, no doubt is I can do it, do it, do it, I knew it all. I said I can do it, do it, do it, I knew it all. I yeah. love my highs, but I love my lows, cause that's what keeps me chasing goals. I swear to God, I'm grinding it. Slept pretty well last night. Um, got in at 11 and pretty much hit the snooze button straight away. This episode is going to be all about our first day in Korea, our first ride, getting ready for tomorrow, the first stage, big stage for the first day. And uh, yeah, later on I'm going to uh, answer some of the questions you've commented on the last few episodes. Yeah. All right. Let's get to this diet. Hey Rob. Mm -hmm. We've got, we got a ride in about 45 minutes. What's that? Going for a spin in about 45. 45 minutes? Yeah. Time's breakfast. And All right. See you again. And you. Yeah, how are you? Great, great. Yeah. great, great. Good to be hey. back. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Good, how are you? Yeah, good, good. You guys know where you're going with it? Yeah, the double the... Uh, oh, it's smelling. Yeah, you guys are right. That's not. Yeah. 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 Uh, Forgot how bright the sun is down this side of the world. So we've arrived, we've arrived in Yeosu. I think it's Yeosu. Something like that. Um, in uh, the very very south kind of perimeter of uh, of Korea, uh, it was a two and a half hour drive last night from the airport. We landed at like uh, half six, seven o'clock. So it was a long, long day of traveling, um, but we finally got here, and we are heading out now for our previous ride. We had breakfast uh, real early this morning. Like unfortunately our sleep was uh, shortened because of that. Um, breakfast ended at 8 o'clock actually. So uh, Rob missed breakfast, uh, but the rest of us managed to grab it. So far so good for our pre-race ride in Korea. Whatever, uh, just heading back to the hotel now, we've done like 40 minutes, so that's all good. Uh, up there is our hotel, 
Uh, there's a team car. Fair old climb back to the hotel, I must admit. The ocean resort in Yosu. But right now, I'm trying to find a cafe. I'm not doing a very good job there. Keep rolling a bit. Keep rolling another 10 minutes. Yeah, see what there is. Now we can grab one of these on the way back. I can just do the 8 minutes on the way home then, can't I? Yeah. Big climb you could turn into, isn't it? Jelty Conda guys, causing havoc all over the world. That's who we are. Fair drop over there, isn't it? Very well out of the row back, wouldn't it? You were going to raise that up. I'd just sack it off, to be honest. I'm not going to do it. Do it, babes. Come on, don't be a pussy. You should just get like the last bit rolling down. Oh my god, it's not. And then the bridge, you know, it's down there and then you have to have a gap. Yeah, I'd be up for a little bit. Has anyone got a little Alan key at all? Yeah, I can't hang around. 50 minutes for lunch, I think it's down to miss the rock. There's no mediocre effort going to do me any good. You're not going to do it, you're not, not going to do it and go, oh, I would have won today, but I did do the 8 minute. I lost by half a wheel. If I didn't do the 8 minute. It's one of them, is it? I go through motions, mate. Sometimes I'm doing the 8 minute as a form timer. Sometimes yeah. I'm doing the 8 minute as a. Let's get the money going again. Yeah, I, I felt terrible. <laughs> I'm tired in my ass, I just felt bad to do it. I'm just going to bang it down this post after the cap for 8 minutes. Yeah, do that. I'll give us that set. Coffee shop, friend. You went to the mall and said, I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have a Alright, so we just finished our um, pre-race ride in this beautiful, beautiful, sunny kind of peninsula that we're on. You know when you come to these type of places, you've never been on these roads, like you try and find the best place to ride um, and do your efforts, your warm-up efforts that you want to do. It's really hard to do though, so we've got to make the best of it. Uh, we only did an hour and we stopped at the calf, so... Um, you know, it's good for morale, vitamin D, and all the rest of that crap that we um, use as a big excuse to stop at the cafe, really. <laughs> So 
so as you can see, it's, uh, it's night time now in, uh, in the beautiful area of South Korea. Um, so I just wanted to end this little short video on um, just answering a few of your questions that you've uh, that you've left on my last video, which was um, what's in my suitcase for this trip. Um, What I want to do, like sometime this week, I want to show you my uh, my bike, my bike setup. Um, you know, I'll probably do that before the stage. Show you what wheels we're running, um, which group set we've got on. Um, my chain rings of choice, obviously, because some some guys are riding a 54 chain ring, um, and yeah, just general stuff like that, which I will get around to showing you. Someone else that I think will be really, um, I want to do, um, I want to show you what I, I want to show you what I'm going to be having like after my stage as well. So tomorrow's the, the longest stage of the race, uh, around 220k. So showing you what I have recovery straight after, what the meal consists of after that and how long after. And then, uh, what kind of snacks that I'll go off um, and have and then evening meal then following following that um, which will really help you for multi-day events and even for single day events Another question has come in, a question from um, Finley Newmark, what suitcases do we use? We use uh, Evolution, I think it's Evolution, let's take a look for you. Oh no, sorry, it's Antler, we use Antler suitcases, um, not really sure what they are but they're in like, they're in team colour like maroon burgundy <coughs> really really good um, even the, li the little suitcases the they got four wheels little trolley doys are really easy to push around and um, with a lot of suitcases you get like lots of kind of badly used space in the bottom where like they're, they're funny shapes you can't get like a lot of stuff to sit properly that's not the case with these, they're like a perfect shape, so you know everything kind of sits flat and neat and can be packed properly. Um, and they have a great little lock on the outside. Um, great little lock there that um, is really, really secure. And that, that works by um, clipping onto the zips, which has a pretty cool system. Um, in, with regards to the food that I brought, I haven't vacuum packed it. What I've done is I use like little Ziploc bags. I get small and large. I get them from like you know a cheap shop or something, and um, you can Ziploc Ziploc everything. It's really really useful. Uh, what I do is I like take say my nuts. I put them all in the bag, and then I kind of wrap around the nuts with the bag. To get all the air out, then I ziplock it. So when you open the bag back up, when you unravel the bag, then the all the air's gone and it's kind of like ziplocked. <clears throat> Some of you asked as well, like, how do um, how the how does the culture cope with an annual insurgence of raging bike races? I guess they, I guess it's the same as every other hotel and places like that that you go to. If they've never held a bike race before, if the hotel has never hosted a bike race, I think it can be very overwhelming. As you can probably imagine, there's a lot of like really hungry cyclists, probably not so much, you know, the first two days we've been here because of the, um, 
the lack of energy needs in, but when you get to like say the last hotel where we're staying in Seoul, we stay in the Olympic Park Hotel. For any of you watching who are in Seoul, actually one guy has commented on my video who is in Seoul at this, so come over and say hi to us on the weekend. Um Yeah, so I think but if you've done it before, you know what to expect, you know how much food to put on. But these hotels are brilliant, I have to admit, like they do massive buffets. Buffet, if you're gonna, if a hotel's watching this, buffets are the way forward for cyclists and you have to provide enough food. You can't expect kind of staff to serve you because riders always want to pick and choose how much food they want. And that's, that's always going to be the case. I think it goes for a lot of athletes, not just cyclists. But um, yeah, buffets are the way forward. There's plenty of food here and it's kind of westernized food. You know, there's a mixture of like kind of Korean cuisine, I guess, and Western food, and that's like a perfect mix. Mix, so uh, it works really well. So yeah, right, that's it.